Welcome to installation video on SailProcess and uh, today we will explore how to install SailProcess on a cPanel based server. Uh, if you, uh, I assume that you have already bought SailProcess and that's why you're watching this video. If that's not the case uh, and you want to know about SailProcess more, uh, you come to linegirls.com, go to software and uh, come to this URL. This URL will be available in the description section. You can click on it and come to this page and uh, know more about it. Here's our documentation, buy now link and live demo link. Okay. And uh, if you haven't bought already, I'll recommend you go through um, the description here and you will know about the prerequisites, sites, uh, about the hosting and the tools you need. Um, okay, so account yourself with this before you buy. Okay, so let's proceed. Mm. So when you buy a sale process from our site, you will receive a zip file with uh, uh, on your email. Okay, you will uh, receive a link. To this zip file you download it and upload it in here in the root folder of your server which is uh, obviously public underscore html in most of the cases uh, you can't upload i mean you can't down uh, install sale process in a subfolder and it has to be in the root domain as well you can't install sale process on a subdomain so in, uh, upload it in here and uh, extract uh, let us extract and uh, by that time we will discuss some of the things that we need to know before uh, we proceed. Okay, so uh, sale process can, not, can be installed on cPanel based server, Plast server or uh, server uh, like VPS and dedicated server. Okay, and uh, in VPS and dedicated servers, in most of the cases you have MySQL root access. That's uh, what's necessary, that's obligatory. But in a cPanel based server, um, if they grant um, wildcard subdomain access and uh, uh, cPanel API, then you can install it on a shared hosting with cPanel uh, based OS. Okay, uh, you'll need obviously the purchase code that you get when you purchase it from our server uh, from our website. Uh, you get this purchase code there. Okay, uh, you'll receive it on your email. Um, uh, as we are installing on cPanel, so we will need cPanel API. Um, we will need uh, the database name, we will need database prefix, database username and database password. Okay, uh, it should be unzipped by now. Yeah. And uh, one thing you need to remember is like when you unzip and put your files in there, uh, what you have to do is like go to settings and check that this checkbox is checked or not. And uh, you need to check it if it's not checked. Okay. Uh, what it does is, like when it is checked, it shows the hidden files or dot files like dot env dot htaccess which are necessary. Okay, so check it when you unzip it. If you don't see these files dot env dot htaccess, go to settings and uh, check the checkbox. Okay. Um, so now come to here, and uh, we will go to domains, and uh, we will create a wildcard subdomain. Okay. So our test domain is bengalgrosser.com. We will create a new domain, uh, which we will actually create a subdomain. And how do we do that? Star slash uh, star dot bengalgrosser.com. Bengalgrosser.com. That's right. And uh, this is important that we put public underscore HTML there, because uh, that's going to be our root. Public underscore HTML. Okay, submit. Now let's go back. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Um, so bengalgrosser.com points to public underscore HTML and all the wildcard subdomains. They need to point at the same place. That's what. That's what. That's really important, and you should ensure that. Okay. Now we will create the API. Manage API tokens. And. Um, you can see there's one API already. We'll create a new one. Sash. Create. And we'll copy this. And uh, this is the file uh, we made to keep records. And this is showing in here. Okay. Uh, just to keep notes. Now we'll go to database and we'll name the database Sash. Next step. Exists okay, just in the same pro and uh, swim generator copy it 
and we will paste this password in here and uh, we will grant the privilege to the database okay so the database name is this one and the user is this one and the database prefix is this one okay so we have got all the info we, have, we need I guess yep and uh, some of the other things that we must ensure or which should check are the PHP versions okay uh, you see it from here multi PHP manager make sure that we have got uh, PHP 8.2 or above and uh, if you haven't got a uh, relevant extensions enabled on your server you go in here and enable it from there okay so let's just start we've all got all the relevant things installed or enabled so let's proceed uh, we're installing on a cpanel purchase code we've got in here it's a dummy purchase code Panel API key. And that's this one. And again, I'll just copy it. That's the database. And see panel username. Make sure to name it. Database name is this one. And username is sale pro. Uh, here, just in case if you have any confusion. And then we have got the password. So it goes in here. Database port is mostly 3306 if you have got a different port you put it in there okay and database host is mostly local host but you may have a different um, database host check it with your server uh, hosting providers and they will tell you okay so this is the central domain or root domain and make sure you copy and paste with the HTTPS okay uh, DB prefix DB prefix is this one underscore and uh, we have got C panel username missing you find it in there it's here okay so C panel username but all good should be okay let's proceed Submit. it takes some time because it imports the database from our server and uh, puts it in your database that we just created so it, it, it can take a while yeah all good uh, so this uh, is the link to the landing page and this is the link to super admin login page and you click on it yeah this is our landing page uh, you can obviously customize it or um, manage the contents in here from your super admin login page and we'll click there too yeah and uh, it shows you the username and password as well so this is the username and password same thing for demo so this is the one and uh, oh good okay 